Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new but used, new for me, 1911 that I picked up in a trade. It's a Para USA Expert. Para Ordnance was founded in 85. It's a Canadian company. In 2009 they moved to Charlotte, North Carolina and that's where this was made. Right there it is stamped. Para USA, Charlotte, NC, North Carolina. And they were there for about three years. So this gun was made between 2009 and 2012. They were then acquired by the Freedom Group and a lot of the technology went to the Remington 1911s and they have since dissolved. So I don't know if I'm holding on to a collector's piece or a, a possible collector's piece in the future, but I will say it's a pretty sharp 1911. Now I mentioned I picked it up on a trade. It came with Wilson Combat Mags, it came with four of them. All right, with a nifty little 1911 mag holster. This grip here that I'm not interested in. These grips here that I'm not interested in. But it did come with this inside the waistband holster that I am interested in. I don't have a 1911 inside the waistband holster. So that is pretty cool. Now, this is different than your average 1911. The full-size, 5-inch barrel government 1911 and the reason this is different is there are a couple things first off it has an ed brown barrel that is stronger than the 1911 barrel and that allows it to fire heavier loads also it has a 25 pound recoil spring so when i go to pull that back it takes a lot of pressure it's not it's it's, it's manageable okay it's not too difficult but it's not like this okay your average 1911 has a 16 pound recoil spring so you can see that you know, it's nice and easy your racket you know charge the 1911 no problem over here to to do it to do a press check there all right it may look easy but i'm putting a ton more pressure and that's because with that barrel and with that heavier recoil spring and with a a flattened firing pin block this will fire 45 super and 450 smc now i'm very much interested in the 45 super that would be comparable to a 45 acp plus p plus p plus p just so much more energy and and power and velocity a lot of people would carry that in bear country and it would actually make a very good choice but this offers versatility which was very attractive all that other stuff is fine but it's that versatility that I wanted and really was attractive for me with this trade. Now, Para USA, 2009 to 2012, so this is about 10 years old, but it's in real nice condition. It does have the two dot rear sights and a green fiber optic front sight. Ed Brown barrel, stronger than the average 1911 barrel. And yeah, and that sweet single action trigger pull i took it to the range today just regular 45 acp loads i was expecting a lot less recoil and perhaps if i shot it side by side with my other one i would have seen or at least felt less recoil but to me it just seemed kind of normal it does have these rubber pair of grips that are original and they're fine you know i may go with some g10 grips in the future but i like the stainless look to it and i like what it offers uh, one thing though i have to say when disassembling the gun especially that recoil spring you really have to keep an eye out that that uh, cap will come flying off so fast it could take your eye out if you're not careful i took it to the range today i had a great time with it i love 1911s i cannot begin to express how much i love 1911s and i'm happy to have this one in my uh in my collection and in my possession and at the range so let's go ahead and roll through some of that footage and we'll come back and talk more about it Hollow points. Now 
So there is my new used Para USA Expert in 45 ACP, 45 Super, and 450 SMC. I really want to get a hold of some 45 Super. I went online, I tried to score it, I knew I'd overpay. It wasn't even close. Everything is sold out across the board. But if, if anybody has any leads to some 45 Super, please let me know. Or, or 450 SMC. You know, that's just as strong, if not stronger. I, I don't know much about that at all. But I want to get a hold of one of those to see how well this handles and to do a little bit of a comparison with your standard 45 ACP 1911. But but here it is. Just kind of a show-off thing. Wanted to show you guys what I got and all the stuff that came with it. But it's a good-looking gun. It's in decent shape. It's, it, there's certainly nothing wrong with it. You know, no scratches, no evidence scratch. A little bit of a dummy scratch right there. I don't know if you... Just a little bit, not much. Okay, could probably be buffed out, but I like that stainless look. I love the 1911, and this thing sure is a nice handgun. <clears throat> and I certainly appreciate the versatility that it offers. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.